Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about home computing solutions that are gonna satisfy either the work from home professional or the school from home, or if you are running your business from home, this is gonna work for you. The cool thing about this solution is that, let's face it, not all of us have dedicated space where we can work on a computer. So if you'd like to be able to have something that is gonna be very small, it's gonna take up very little space, but it's gonna pack a lot of power. We're talking about a Ryzen 7 processor. We're talking also about something that has uh, the support for up to multiple monitors. If you wanna go that big, right, if you want to, then check out this, this product. This is the B-Link, uh, this is the B-Link Sur 3. Uh, this little guy here has an AMD Ryzen 7 processor and it has Radeon graphics, all packed in something palm size like this. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now the Sur 3 mini PC from B-Link is gonna satisfy all those use cases I mentioned earlier and it could support light gaming. It's not a really dedicated gaming, uh, I would say mini PC, but it's really about light gaming and then satisfying all those things, working from home, going to school from home. You can watch media on this. There's a lot of stuff that you can do with this uh, computer and you're gonna see this in a couple seconds. And for those of you that are interested in uh, upgrading to Windows 11, I've actually upgraded it from the standard operating system that it had to Windows 11 Pro, and you're gonna see that in a couple seconds. The processor itself for this unit is an AMD Ryzen 7 that uh, has speeds up to four gigahertz and has four cores and eight threads. So it has a decent processor and I can feel the speed. Uh, the other thing it has is a Radeon RX Vega 10 a graphics card that is gonna be running at 14 100 megahertz, right? So that's also going to be giving you a really good smooth experience. It supports uh, DDR4 memory, so it has four gig of that. And if you'd like to expand this, it comes with some basic specs that I'm gonna share with you, like what mine is spec for, but if you're looking to have fast processing um, storage, you can support NVMe up to two terabytes, right? It has uh, gigabit LAN, 4K 60 uh, hertz output, but then the cool thing about this, as I mentioned, is like you can have one monitor or this thing will support up to three because it has two HDMI ports. It also has a USB-C port that you can connect and use all as a video outsource and literally have a triad of screens, which is gonna kind of defeat the purpose of it being so small. But let's say if you want something powerful, you want something that covers all the screens, you can do that too. And then the other thing that I like about this is that it has also 2.4 and 5.8 dual Wi-Fi. So this is going to give you a lot of speed when it comes to surfing the web, streaming content. You're going to be doing fine with this. Now the Sur 3 comes packed in this little box and it is a tiny box because it's a tiny PC. It does come with a power supply so it has a dedicated power supply and it does not charge via USB-C so it has a dedicated um, AC adapter that um, powers the unit. Uh, but what you get here is your mini PC and you can see that this is literally palm size. You get an HDMI cable, right? And here you have a secondary one as well. So you have a two that you can work with here. You also then have this, this bracket here. And this is so that if you wanna mount it behind the monitor, you can actually hide this so that it's not visible at all. And it looks like you have a floating PC that has no, no monitor. Uh, you also then have some additional um, screws and, and, and things of this sort so that if you do some, want to do some upgrades. So we'll go ahead and move this over to the side and let's just take a look at this PC for a second. So in the front, uh, you have two USB uh, ports, uh, USB-C uh, as well. You have your power and then you also have a headphone jack here. So really simple front facing display. As we rotate it on the side, you'll see that you have some venting here. On the back, you have more USB ports, your LAN connection, your two HDMI that we talked about, right? And remember, you have the two HDMI and then you could use the USB-C as your third monitor. So you have two going on here and then you have your power with more venting here, more venting here. Now the top is pretty simple, we'll remove the sticker. And I really like the, the actual look of this right here. I like the kind of like the grill that you have right there. Uh, and you have your, obviously your AMD, logo indicating Ryzen 7 as well as the Radeon graphics card. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, on the bottom here, you'll see that you have your screws where if you want to expand this, if you want to increase maybe memory, you want to change the actual uh, storage, you can do that as well. Now, this unit that we have here, I'm just gonna mention what we have from a spec perspective. Uh, so here what we have is 16 gig of RAM is what I have on this one, 512 storage, and it has all the specs that we've discussed. But keep in mind that 
Both memory and storage can be upgraded if you'd like to do so. So let's plug this in, let's power it up, and we'll check it out. Now, as I mentioned, I went ahead and upgraded this machine to Windows 11 Pro. And a couple things I just wanted to show you is like overall how well does it launch applications and how fast is it? I wanted to give you first the kind of like the user experience before we look at any kind of specs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna launch Chrome. I'm gonna see how well it does with Chrome. Chrome launched. And if we go into YouTube, let's go to YouTube and we're gonna to try to, let's say, uh, stream something. Uh, this is the kind of experience that you should expect just navigating and using this. Now, we'll look at some of the gaming, I would say, capabilities, but again, this is not really designed to be a gaming machine. It is a multi-purpose machine, right? You can do some light gaming on it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look at for one of our videos. And we'll go to our channel. Here's our channel. And here's some of the videos that we just did. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and launch uh, this video right here uh, for a gaming headphone that we just launched uh, yesterday. And we'll let this go. And you saw how quickly that launched. It was just boom and it was there. So really fast to launch a video. Now from a streaming perspective, this is how quickly we'll stream. I'm gonna go ahead and play. And you can see what the streaming quality is like. I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit larger. You can see no, no trouble whatsoever um, as we're changing the actual, I would say, resolution itself. So this is, this is really fast. And you'll notice that we are streaming at the highest possible resolution. So uh, the other thing that we'll do is we'll do a speed test just to give you a sense of what can you expect. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, speed test. We're going to go ahead and type that up and see how quickly this Wi-Fi is working. All right. uh, my Wi-Fi actually is in two floors down, so I'm on the upper level. And we're going to go ahead and hit the speed test. And again, no, no special settings. This is basically the inbuilt Wi-Fi in the system itself. It is connecting to a Wi-Fi 6 router, uh, but again, nothing external. This is the built-in uh, graphics card and wireless card that you see performing either in the video or in this case, as you look at the, the streaming that we're doing and the testing we're doing is all with the Wi-Fi. Can it be better? Uh, yeah, you can bump this up if you had something external, but this is really decent. Now, for those of you who are interested in the details of the graphics card, uh, you're gonna see them right here. So this is an AMD Radeon RX Vega 10 graphics uh, solution. You can see, again, the performance, you can see speed. Uh, can you do things to tune this and tweak this to make it go maybe even faster, maybe overclock it? Uh, you, you could. Uh, I'm sure you can get away with, with some of that. There are tools out there that will allow you to do this, but just giving you kind of some of the basic specs of what you can expect. Now, for those of you who are curious about the operating system, I wanted to share with you, you know, what version of Windows do we have? So we're going to go ahead and launch this. And you're seeing how this thing just screams. Just the screens just come up so fast. So once again, AMD Radeon, you see the specs that we talked about earlier, 16 gig of RAM, and uh, you see that we're running, again, if we go down here, Windows 11 Pro. So we have Windows 11 Pro, and the neat thing about this is that it's, uh, when you do a Windows 11 upgrade, which is what I did here, it does check to see if the PC itself can support the upgrade. So if that's a question in your mind, and you're worried about that, there's the answer. Windows 11 uh, compatible and also upgradable and you can see what kind of performance I'm getting. Now next we're going to run this benchmarking software just to see how well this PC performs. Now keep in mind I like looking at the actual real performance. That means how does it work as I'm using it. This is great from a stats perspective to see how it performs systematically against other um, mini PCs or PCs that are using similar configuration. Uh, but the overall usage that I've seen so far is that it works really well. This is going to give us, again, some more system uh, level type um, comparisons. Now that we've completed the actual benchmark test, you can see that from a gaming perspective, as we talked about earlier, this isn't really a high-end gaming solution. It is more for light gaming. From a desktop perspective, it's Battleship class. It does really well. And you can see from the performance that you saw how quickly things move, how quickly I can open things and close things and even surf the web. Uh, workstation, it's eh, it's it's not right there, but definitely this is going to be the sweet spot. Everything here is in the green. Uh, once again, highlighting that from a graphics perspective, it's not going to be a high performance machine, but you saw how well it's doing there. 
Here you can see um, how well the CPU is performing and it's performing again uh, above expectations. You can see here the graphics card for again this type of graphics card it's performing as expected. You can see storage it's performing again um, as expected. If you look at the memory, memory is also as expected. So these are the areas uh, that you know we were testing here and how the actual uh, unit is performing. And this is what we would expect for something of this class and this price. So guys, that wraps up our review of the B-Link AMD Sur 3, again, Ryzen 7 mini PC. This is the fastest mini PC that we reviewed on the channel. I'm a fan of the small form factor and it's a super capable uh, PC. See you in the next video.